This is a quick overview of the newly introduced impact grenades as of patch 4.2 in Rainbow Six Siege. Impact grenades are a new defender gadget. Upon selection you get a total of two impact grenades in your loadout. They replace the nitro cell for Cavera and Smoke. They also replace the barbed wires for Castle and Rook. Impact grenades are explosives that detonate on impact or exactly one second after being thrown. They are very effective as a last resort in close range engagements or as a tool to remodel the environment. They deal direct damage upon impact as well as splash damage in a small area surrounding the target. Here you can see the direct damage it deals against light, medium and heavy operators. Against heavy operators a direct hit will deal roughly 47 damage, about 53 damage to medium operators and a total of 62 damage to light operators. The splash radius of the explosion seems to be around 3 to 4 meters, with damage quickly falling off as demonstrated in these examples. As you can see, on a direct impact, they damage for roughly half of the enemy HP. So while they are definitely a potent tool to take out enemies, they are probably more useful to create instantly vaultable holes in walls. Here, you can see several examples of the effect they have on destructible walls in this game. Notice how you can create instantly vaultable holes, allowing for many new flanking possibilities. This seems to fit nicely with the newly introduced attacker gadget, the Claymore Mine, which is specifically designed to be a counter to flanking defenders. Impact grenades can also damage and even kill enemies through barricades and walls, so watch out for that. And lastly, you can even open up hatches with them, so now you don't have to bring a shotgun just to open up hatches anymore. For a first impression, this gadget seems to have very great potential, both as an offensive and as a defensive tool for the defenders.